I'm gonna show you how I take a losing trade and transform it into a winning position without even chasing the price. This will be step by step process of a few trades I took recently and how I eventually scale to double or triple the profit. This is the trade that we're gonna be talking about. Uh, it was on the euro and as you can see I took one, two and three positions long to the upside unfortunately i basically got stopped out one right here on the first position and on the last two i got stopped out right here and eventually on this sort of base i reversed the position aiming for these specific lows which been hit and eventually it got me if i include this slight drawdown this is about 5% move on one of my accounts. Reason for taking a long position and basically why I was so heavy on this site was uh, pretty simple. As you can see here on the 15 minute time frame, we had a lot of lows that basically been swept by the news release candle. Because we closed the candle on pretty significant pin bar, I don't see enough strong continuation to the downside. So what I was waiting for some slight move to the upside that will confirm that we will take out eventually these fractal highs and uh, unfortunately I was aiming to go for all these highs right here as well which eventually if we put it right here I was aiming for around this particular level but what we eventually did we took out just the previous high and having a really strong bearish candle closure okay let's talk about why i took a long position which by the way if i aiming for a two hour trade uh, i would eventually end up being a winner as well but i had a little bit more aggressive target so i was aiming for about six hour trade and unfortunately did not happen but i'm pretty happy how i managed the stop loss or the risk management so i'm gonna show you how and what i did the reason why i was quite a bit aggressive on the long side was because we had a quite a bit large downside move right here and we had a little bit consolidation now moving back as you can see here we having a lot of lows that been taken out or swept if you like on the news release because we having this really nice pin bar to the downside that basically clear all these lows right here that was eventually a really good sign that we will come back for these highs uh, and these fractal highs as well. If we move from 15 minute time frame to 5 minute time frame, as you can see here, we having this really nice push to the downside and eventually a really strong uh, 5 minute candle closure right here. So based on that, this sort of a V shape, if you like, gave me some sort of indication that we will go for a higher price. Eventually, I was looking for the one minute time frame. So let's go right here. I got into the position right around here, if I remember correctly. So what was the reason is we had this really strong candle push to the upside and we came back to test this particular imbalance right here. If you pay attention to this sort of price action is very similar to this one in a sort of fractal scale we break the highs right here and we having a really nice three bullish candle closure what is really important for me i see the momentum to the upside we came back to testing this imbalance and eventually we having the bear, uh, bullish candle closure right here about this bearish one that caused this last push to the downside i decided to take a shot to enter the position right here at the time the stop loss was pretty much right here because i don't want to see the momentum basically vanish as quickly there was was eventually my first position as we start to came back down right here i start to feeling a little bit cautious but at the same time we can still go as long as we're not breaking this one the trade is still valid so at this point this was right around three hour trade if i remember correctly we got one really aggressive sweep potentially filling this imbalance right here and we having really nice strong bullish candle closure. So after this bullish candle, I enter another position. And as we start to having some momentum to the upside, I decided to put um, another trade right here. My stop loss from here came back to here because obviously this is really nice V shape and I don't want to see this to fail. And if you trade a little bit like me, this was a quite a bit really nice accumulation phase especially this particular move 
that's why I decided to be a little bit more aggressive because we have, as you can see here, the highs that having a really high potential to be taken out. In the worst case, I could take a break even trade if we not gonna continue to the upside because we should definitely not fail this particular level because there was the move that caused the ultimate momentum to the upside. We take out the highs and we start to taking momentum to the downside. At this point, I was still pretty much fine, but as we start to closing, basically candles below this particular implants somewhere around here. To my taste, we should definitely hold this level to increase my likelihood that we will go for much bigger prices. But because we eventually failed and we start to distributing lower, this candle basically decided that all this trade is invalid. And also at the same time, if we coming back to the five minute candle, we having the really nice and strong bearish candle closure below this particular bullish one. So this was a really strong sign that I very unlikely gonna see higher prices. And at the same time, if we go to the one hour, we actually having really nice fractal sweep right here with uh, bearish candle closure. And because of the bearish candle closure and this particular sweep, so this is my new stop loss or invalidation point for the short. I open one position right here. And as we start to consolidate, I open one more position right here. At the first position I was aiming or I was having my invalidation right here. But as I add or basically double the size, I remove my stop loss and basically trail my stop loss a little bit lower because at that point, uh, uh, I don't see the reason to push price right here for the same reason like we having this manipulation right here. So at this point, I either want to see really strong pushes to the downside or eventually some sort of meltdown, which is uh, quite a bit typical in these trending days on the euro. And because we failed this really nice wrench that uh, this having really nice manipulation, we don't have such a thing right here. You can say this is some sort of low level resistance. We don't having any particular sweep. We are rather having some upside move and basically all these highs turning to the upside. I don't see any manipulation here. So if this one gonna fail right here, which eventually did, then there is no reason that we should not take this level as well. And if we will have a look on 15 minute time frame, as you can see here, this bullish candle closure was really significantly broken by this bearish one. So this is a really strong sign that we will potentially having some sort of reversal. And what would be the next logical target for the short sellers? Basically this fractal low right here, which eventually, as you can see here, this was really strong and one-sided bias. And if I could do one thing, a little bit differently I would definitely take a one position off the table once we breaking basically this level probably this position right here I would take a one taking profit right around this level and basically let two position to run to my taking profits this way I could secure one or two percent on the account just by being a wrong on the trade so if I can give us some tip from this video if you want to basically turn some losing trade into the winning trade make sure that you having really well logical points of particular reversal meaning don't just blindly reverse the position because you get stopped out it needs to make a logical sense and the most logical sense to me is to looking how the candle closure especially on a higher time frame look like and potentially what is the time of the day and if we eventually reach some key level price might gonna reverse and because eventually we came from really strong bearish trend and we just having some pullback on the new News release and we did not having the new continuation to the upside the most logical sense for me personally based on my experience would be to continue to the downside so that's how I decided to basically take a short trade right here and riding this trend to the downside hope you find this insightful and see you next time